Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do something which people really like and yeah, you can have a lot of fun. But uh and that is skirmish AI into missions. So as you know, most of the missions have that kind of AI where they do not build additional buildings. Um they stick only with the ones that they have at the start of the mission. And uh of course they do not build engineers such as the skirmish AI does and uh, probably the campaign AI is weaker when it comes to mass creating units and stuff like this so skirmish AI can be very useful and can be very entertaining actually so today I'm going to show you how to enable it and as a bonus I'm going to uh, show you how to how you can have fun using this. So we're going to add this skirmish AI to the human player. I know it sounds retarded, but it's actually possible. So this means that you can uh, see that you are actually building units without to click anything. You can bl build your base and uh, build units without clicking anything because actually AI is building in your place so that's very awesome you're gonna see how it looks like if you don't understand so first what we have to do is to export um, the skirmish AI so I'm gonna pretend that you do know uh, about importing and, and uh, exporting AI segments I have two tutorials about that so make sure you go watch them if you don't have any idea what I'm doing here so uh, first let's open uh, the file that stores skirmish AI and that is located into data and maps and the only one here prag.miss open it and uh, now on a side note here you can uh, change diplomacy values this is how the multiplayer allied patch was created by me by changing these uh, things you can create 2 versus 2 3 versus 3 and etc into skirmish so yeah it's very fun. Now going into exploring and working with that skirmish AI. So go, you are gonna have to export it. Now it asks you for the site, so make sure you always leave zero because zero is the one that stores skirmish AI. If you change it to any other number, it will not export anything. So it's gonna be like an empty file. So hit OK. Now it asks asks you for a location to drop it this is the file that will uh, contain the AI data so we're gonna save it into desktop yeah we want to replace it why not and we're getting a su successful message that's cool now let's add uh, this uh, skirmish AI into our mission and I'm gonna use uh, Harkonnen mission one uh, mission 8 yeah for uh, this tutorial where is it okay so open up that I have so many dune folders on my hard drive it's very awesome if you break stuff up you can easily back up so scroll down and here it is now we we don't want to change anything else here it's okay just like it is so let's import the AI that we just saved so as I said we want to add it for the human player which is Harkonnen so we're gonna type 1 because that's the index allocation for Harkonnen <clears throat> now go to the location where you have saved the miss AI file and just open it and you just have a successful message here saying that you overwrote site 1 with that thing so click OK and at the moment you should be fine you should have uh, AI AI should be controlling your base so save your uh, mission um, of course overwrite and at the moment it should work just fine so let's go and test it
it's loading so wait for a second all right so uh yes Harkonnen mission 9 and here we go the AI is building without me to click anything you can see I'm not even scrolling around I'm not even touching any building I think he even moved the units yes he does move the units so you don't have to add this for uh, a human player necessarily you can add it for AI players and they will do the exact same thing but I added it for humans because you can actually have fun. The only problem problem is that you can select only one unit at a time, so it's like Dune 2. But what you can do to have fun with this is um, to make some kind of builders and fighters thing. So you are you actually uh, build the base and train units instead of the AI, and he will is going to use those units and fight with them. I'm just giving you an idea, you can be more creative, of course. And yes, you can cancel what he's doing and get some other things in his place. So yes, th it can be very fun. He resumes building, so even uh, runs over infantry, so yeah, it's very cool. Alright, so I'm gonna let you enjoy this, and thanks for watching, guys. Remember, always have fun.